Hey, you are to, are to traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be looking at this very powerful forex trading concept that is definitely going to turn you into a profitable forex trader. So, do smash on that like button for me, guys, as in my resume, continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys. And do not forget that if you are a forex trader and you do not have any trading capital, you can just simply go to the forex funder and get yourself a funded account. There's currently a 50% special off that is running on each and every funded challenge that you choose to get yourself only if you use the discount code TFF50. I'll definitely leave the link in this video's description, mate, without wasting any of your time that I get on with it, right? So, first things first, if you can just somehow closely look at this pair, let's just grab two right there, and let's just grab our two right there, there we go. Right, so if you can just closely look at this market structure, right, let us just draw a trend line as usual, right? So, Technically here, you can see that we do have ourselves what? We do have ourselves a first touch right there, a second touch right there, and now we do have ourselves a what? A third touch right there. And if you can just somehow closely look at what happened here, you can see that price nicely respected this trend line without even manipulating, guys. You can clearly see that this was a nice, nice, nice rejection from what? From this trend line, right? So, as a trader, you may think that, you know, there wasn't any manipulation that happened here, right? As a normal retail trader, you may think that there wasn't any what? There wasn't any manipulation that happened there. But, you know, if you instill this in your mind, guys, that, you know, whatever you do, you must make sure that you enter after manipulation has happened. If you somehow train your mind that all you do is you spot manipulation and then you enter, you spot manipulation and then you enter. And for instance, I'm a, I'm a price action trader and I follow the trend, right? So I like to do what I like to follow the trend and I like to enter after what after manipulation has already happened. So now here, guys, if you can just somehow closely look at what happened here, let's just look at what happened here if you can just somehow let's just this, this was my two hour time frame let us now go over to our lower time frame and then let us then look at what happened on our lower time frame guys right let us just look at where this manipulation happened so if you can just somehow close look here you can see here that we do have some sort of like we do have some sort of like continuation pattern right there let us just remove this and let us also do this. There we go. Right, so if you can just somehow closely look here, guys, you can clearly see that price nicely did what? It moved to the downward nicely. And then what did it then do? It then gave what? This consolidating structure right there. And then what did price do? And then price gave us what? A breakout. A normal typical price action trader would have done what? Would have sold here. We're on this breakout, guys. A normal price action trader would have done what? Would have sold on this breakout of, of what? Of this consolidating structure, as you guys can see, right? But in reality, price was just doing what? A lot of traders, they did what? They did sell here. Maybe they put their stop losses there or maybe somewhere there, right? They did sell here. Why did they sell there? Because this is a nice flag pattern. This is a nice continuation pattern. So obviously, a lot of retail traders did what? They did sell here, right? And then all of a sudden, if you can just somehow closely look here, right? Let me just do that, right? If you can just somehow close look here, you can clearly see that, you know, they created this continuation pattern to, to take what? To take retail traders' money, period. So, it does happen, guys, that, you know, before price gives you a third touch on your trend line, you see something that is like this. You see something that is like a flag pattern. Please do not fall for this, right? Because what, what, what is going to happen is that it is going to break to the downward a bit. It is going to break to the downward slightly doing what? finding support way on this trend line and then all of a sudden look what happened you are going to do what you are going to get stopped out right so if a continuation pattern forms make sure that you make sure that you go over to your higher time frame and look at whether excuse me and look at whether there isn't a support or resistance that is nearby because chances are it will give you a breakout but if there is a support or resistance that is nearby it is going to do what it is going to reverse also note this guys right 
Also, you can also take these two advantage whereby you just simply uh, uh, wait for this flag pattern to form. And then, you know, once price gives you a third touch on, on your trend line, you then do what? You then buy, right? So let us then get in deep, guys. Let us then try and get in deep, right? Let us then try and do what? And get in deep, right? So what you can do is you can simply just wait for price to give you a continuation pattern before it reaches your trend line. And then once it reaches your trend line and then you see price uh, uh, reversing from the trend line, you can then do what? You can then just take your entry. Same thing that happened here, guys. Look at what happened here. Look at what happened here. Let me just remove this. Let me just also remove this. Isn't this a continuation pattern? This is what this is a continuation pattern. And when price gave us a break out to the downward from this continuation pattern, a lot of traders they did what obviously they did sell there. So this happens when the big banks do not want to manipulate a trend line, right? They have to manipulate prior, right? They have to make sure that they always take retail traders' money. But if they do not want to manipulate a certain trend line, if they want to respect a trend line nicely, they will then do what? They will then manipulate using this kind of patterns where they will take retail traders' money. And then, you know, when price then gets to your trend line like this, when price then gets to your trend line like this, it then does what? It then reverses nicely without any problem, as you guys can see here. Right? And then when price gets to a trend line like that, it then reverses nicely. As you guys can see. Right? So you can somehow do what? Wait for price to give you a, 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 a continuation pattern or a flag pattern or a, a, a white knot pattern before it reaches your trend line. The reason why it, it, the reason why it forms this, it knows. It knows that a lot of people are going to, to sell. When in reality, they want to do what? They want to use this trend line to do what? To move price to the upper. As you guys can see here, that we did have ourselves for what? First touch right there, second touch right there, and then we did have ourselves for what? A third touch right there. And this thing happens a lot of the time. Right? This thing happens a lot of the time. Let me just show you all. Excuse me. Let me just continue showing you all. Right? So you can clearly see that on this particular pair, it happened there. Right? So... Let us then proceed. It also happened here. Just look at this. Right? Just look at this. First touch there. Second touch there. And then we had our third touch, which was, which, uh, uh, which, um, the, which price respected this trend line nicely. But, you know, the reason why it respected the trend line nicely, it is because it had already manipulated. The reason why it, it never really manipulated this trend line, it is because it had done what? It had already manipulated using what? Using this continuation pattern right there. Using what? Using this continuation pattern right there. Right? As you guys can see. Let's just do that. As you guys can see. That price did what? That price moved to the downward here. Let us just get this. That price moved to the downward and then it consolidated, creating your flag pattern. And then it gave us a breakout. And then it found rest on this trend line. And then it moved to the upward. As you guys can see. Right? As you guys can see. So. Please, please be aware of this kind of traps, guys. When you see yourself, um, if you want to enter, uh, 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 if you want to be sure that, you know, this particular trend line is not going to be manipulated, wait for prior manipulation. Just like this, guys. Wait for what? Wait for prior manipulation. This continuation pattern was used to take retail traders' money, right? This was a fake out. This was a fake out, Right? This was what a complete fake out. It was to, to take retail traders' money, period. When in reality, they knew exactly that they want to respect this trend line. But they, their aim is to always take retail traders' money. So they have to take retail traders' money using what? Using that flag pattern. They, because they know that they are going to sell at a breakout, right? So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you did find value. If you did, just mention that like button for me. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Cool.